Hey y'all and welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, today in this video I'm going to show you my night routine routine when I shower. I shower every other day. Um, but before I get into this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already by clicking the button down below. Um, give this video a big thumbs up and um, hit the bell button if you want some notifications when I post a new video. So now, um, before I get into the shower, um, I do wash my face when I take a shower. I use the Cetaphil face wash, which I can attach a picture here. Um, and then another thing is, I wear this compression sock. You can't really tell it's a compression sock, but anyways, I wear it every day, except when I go to bed. So I do take it off before I take a shower. Um, however, on a normal basis, usually I will wash my face. And then when I get back to my room and I do that whole routine, which you'll see in a second, I will take that off during that process. So I will probably mention that again once I get out of the shower, but I'm gonna go shower. So the next clip, you are going to see my hair wet. All right, everyone, I am back from my shower, dressed and I brushed my teeth. Um, if anyone's wondering, which I know you didn't ask, but I am a Crest girl. I like to use Crest. So now, I usually wait to brush my hair for the last minute, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and brush it now. Okay, so now that that is done, my next step is this bag. So, I have been using this bag for my medicine and my face stuff ever since it was all brought to me in a plastic bag to my hospital room. I just find it easier to just keep it all in here. So the first thing I like to do is my face stuff. So. I use this moisturizer, Neutrogena Oil Free Combination Skin, Combination Skin, the pink, the pink one. Um, so usually when I shower, um, I usually shower at night. Sometimes I shower during the day. The time of night depends. Sometimes it's earlier at night. Sometimes it's later at night. Um, sometimes I will do homework or watch a movie after I shower if it's at night. And other times I do all my homework before my shower. Sometimes it's a combination of both. I'll do homework before showering and then studying after I shower. Uh, I've been assigned physical therapy exercises, which I will probably do a video on soon, but usually I do those at night. Um, however, I do try to do them during the day sometimes. Um, and when I don't have ballet class, I don't do my exercises since they're very similar to ballet combinations. Um, so that is also included in my night routine sometimes. Um, that includes exercises as well as walking. And I've been using these walking in place videos that I found on YouTube. Um, so that I will not show you tonight, but that is usually part of my night as you would call it since I do do it at night so okay so now that that is on the next thing i put on is this so this is cilantro it's meant for eczema i was not or not eczema it's for rosacea i was not officially diagnosed with rosacea but i did have some redness on my cheeks and my nose that my dermatologist thought could be rosacea since it disappeared with one cream and then came back so we just used this for safe measures just to make sure that it doesn't ever come back and it hasn't come back since i've used it so it must be working and then after that i put on this it's Epidural Forte, which I also use, which I use for my acne. Um, I'm planning to make a huge skincare video at some point, and you're, you'll get to see how I got to this point. But this has pretty much been working for me for a while. I stopped it once I went on birth control, but now that I'm off it, um, well then it started getting bad again, so we went back on it, and now I'm off my birth control. Um, so I've been using this again, and we're just going to see how this goes. Oh, and if I didn't mention this in one of my last videos, it was the birth control, the estrogen, and the birth control that caused the blood clots. Um, so yeah. And then finally, I put this on my face. So I did have this really weird eye thing, um, and that's how I got this cream. 
but now I'm using it for these little red patches right here um, because I think they're from these glasses, my red light glasses from the plastic material. So I've been using this to get the red stuff to go away, but it was originally used to get some red stuff off my eyes. Okay, so I just put on all the creams and now I take my meds. So the first medicine I take is called gabapentin um, and it's a little capsule. It was prescribed to me for nerve pain. It looks like, can't see that. Looks like this. I haven't had any nerve pain, but I still take it in order to, um, just in case I ever get any and it's good to just be prepared. So yeah, I take that. And then the next thing I take is called Warfarin, also known as Coumadin, which is my blood thinners. It's actually a two of these because they mess around with my dosage um, depending on my clotting time. So I started out with three and then they kept changing it around and I ended up doing four. So that's why I have two bottles. This is three milligram and this is one milligram. So every day except Saturday, I take four. Saturdays, I take three. So today is a four day. So I take one from the three bottle and then one from the four bottle. And they're actually pretty colorful. This is the three one. It's kind of a purpley brown. And then the three bottle is pink. Kind of like a Pepto Bismol pink. And then next on the allergy meds. So I take Singular and Zyrtec. Those are just little boring, boring little pills. Zyrtec is this little white one. And then my Singular looks like this. It's a little yellow square. I have thought about getting like a little pill thing since I take so many pills at night. I haven't gotten around to that yet. And finally, I take iron pills um, just to get iron supplements. My last lab results said I was anemic. Um, so I'm taking iron pills to try to not be anemic anymore. So this is what my daily pill dose looks like. Ta-da! So yes, I take all of these pills, not all at once in case you were wondering. I have known to take up to three pills at once, but um, I usually space my pills out, especially um, when they gave me like loads of pills in the hospital. I was like, yeah, I'm not taking all of those pills at once. So yeah, I'm just gonna take these now. Okay, so now that I've taken my medicine, the next thing I do is um, deal with the compression sock. So I take it off. Um, but right now it's already off because I showered. This is what it looks like. It's literally just long hose that I put on as soon as I wake up and take off when I go to bed. Um, and then I take off the band-aid on my healing scab because they don't want it rubbing against the sock. So I like to just let me covering it. I usually examine it, make sure it doesn't have any red minus or infections. Then I come into this bag and I clean it with saline. Today, I forgot to take off the band-aid before I went in the shower, but even when I do that, um, I still clean it off with saline after. Just a way for me to keep the wound clean. This is what it looks like. My home health nurse gave it to me for a big bottle. So then I take this little thing of gauze here. I put some of the saline on and then I will rub it. Um, I also do this in the morning before I put the band-aid on. Not very much, and then we're underneath my knee, so I go underneath and I wipe it. Um, and usually I will sleep with the bandaid off. I've been doing that recently. Before, I wasn't really, really ready to do that yet because it was still a very opened wound, so I wanted to keep it covered, but now it's very it's pretty much it's very healed um you can hardly see anything so yeah i 
sleep with it on. Sleep with my band-aids on. So now that I've done that. The last thing I do is put lotion on my legs because when I first had the sock, they were so dry, like so, so dry. So every time I take it off, I put lotion on. I avoid the little scab wound, but I still do put lotion under my knee because it does get a little dry. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now I unmake my bed, um, get settled. I'll put away any schoolwork um, like on my desk and yeah, and then, like I said, sometimes I'll study a little after. Um, sometimes I'll just watch a movie, but most of the time I usually just end up going to bed. I check my phone before I go to bed. Um, but tonight I have to do my exercises because I was back doing stuff back to back all day today. It's my busiest day of the week. Um, and so I wasn't able to get to them before showering because um, I had to do homework as well. So I'm gonna go do that. I will see you all next week. I hope you enjoyed this video of my night routine and it wasn't too boring. Glad you stayed for it. So yeah, I will see you all next week. Bye!